Good morning, everybody. It is 7.40 in the morning, July 27th. And today we're going to Gozo Island. That is the second island of Malta, second biggest. We're taking a ferry from Valletta. It was included with the Explorer Flex that I, that I bought. Uh, the Explorer Flex car that I bought the other day. But I don't know the schedule. But let's go see. Let's go see when the ferry leaves. Okay, here's the office and here's their schedule. I just missed the ferry. They left um, 20 minutes ago and I gotta wait an hour and a half. I'm not gonna do that. I'll do this tomorrow. And instead we're gonna go to um, Emdina. Emdina and there are some other temples that I wanted to see, Neolithic temples. All right, change of plan. Okay, here are the prices. Um, if you don't have that flex card, so 750 one way. All right, that's my breakfast, 1.5 euro. My bus leaves from C2 in like four minutes to Medina, Medina. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. have uh, arrived at Medina and oh a little bit about that ferry schedule you know I tried to look up the ferry schedule yesterday and their website was full of a uh, virus so that's why I didn't know the time that the ferry is gonna leave but tomorrow we're gonna do the ferry to Gozo but today Medina I think that's the way you pronounce it there's no E between M and D, but I think it's Medina. Um, it's supposed to be an ancient city. Um, I'll put the year that it was um, established. I think uh, it's about as old as Valletta. Maybe, no, it might be a little older. Might have been the old capital. Yeah, it was the old capital. So Medina is that way. Okay, so Medina is straight. They have a Roman villa. I didn't know they had a Roman villa. Let's go to the, the main city first. I know very little about the city because I didn't research Medina because I thought I'm going to Gozo so I had a list of things to see at Gozo but I don't have a list of things to see in Medina so we're gonna have to make this one of those oh look at this what a surprise video oh look at this this is a National Museum of Natural History Let's just see the courtyard. I don't think I'm going to go inside.
always good to come in as much as you can before they ask for admission because you get to see some free things So don't be afraid to go inside. You go into a museum, just go as far as you can before they charge for admission. See lots of interesting sights before you have to pay. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, this side looks more interesting. Look at this tiny street. Looks like something from the Middle East. Probably got the Middle East influence when the um, there were invasions from Muslims. I believe in the 900 AD. But I saw a sign for this building. This was built in 1500s. minutes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the list of things you're supposed to see in this town while I'm waiting for this museum and the cathedral to open
that was the St. Paul's Cathedral and the museum and the museum was right there it was 10 euros and it was very tranquil I was the only one there only one there in the cathedral I'm not a religious person but it was very tranquil hearing music organ music and singing while sitting there I was sitting there just admiring the artwork for like 10 minutes very peaceful very tranquil very meditative all right we're gonna go to this palazzo it's two minutes away let's see what that looks like all right the um the cathedral had tombstones, I think, on the floor. It's kind of like what the St. John's uh, Co-Cathedral had in Valera. So I think maybe those are tombstones of knights that are buried there. 